day three and it's pouring with rain. I'm on my way back up to the Romano British permission and yesterday's find of a coin has taken me on my usual rabbit hole of research. I've had some lovely help from my fellow teammates at LP Metal Detecting, Roman Found, the two girls from Roman Found, Ellie and Lucy. They've been really helpful. They confirmed that it was an empress on that coin, a female bust. And that's exciting to me, because obviously I like to find anything with a kind of female reference on it, for me is a quite a cool find. I'm reflecting on how physical a life this must have been. It's been raining and windy now. We've had a storm, Storm Gerrit, classic winter storm, bringing lots of heavy winds and rain. It hasn't been particularly cold, which is one blessing, but just battling the elements has been quite tiring. I'm feeling it in my body that I've been battling the elements and I've been doing physical work. So it just struck me today, like I've done three days metal detecting and I'm feeling it. Um, but here I am again, ready to start again because I've only got this short time and I want to make the most of it. The whole field is covered in stone, but here it's particularly dense and I think that must be evidence of old walls or where things have been taken, where buildings have been taken apart. There's also on the ground this stone which is called Pennant. It's not local to this area, it's from Wales and this is stone that's used for flooring so I think that must be tiles from the floor. There's the rainbow! Beautiful! Look at that! Hot! Oh my god, this place is awesome! The sun's come out and this coin is seeing the light of day for the first time in close on 2,000 years, I'm imagining. I can't clean it because I haven't got my sprayer with me, but I can see on the reverse side there is the god. And here on this side, can just make out Enjoy everything. Yeah, a, a head there of an emperor. This time it's a man. How exciting! So I've just two minutes ago found my second Roman coin. I think be a third one here. My god it is. <laughs> oh wow the detail on that one is something else. Can you see it? Oh my god that is perfect. I don't know what to say. This is like my dream come true. I've been working for a year to find stuff like this. Oh. Ah, I'm so excited! I've just, I've just had a marvellous signal and I think I can see something green. Can you spot it?
think it's another Roman coin, it bloody is, you know. It's a huge one this time. Oh my God, this place. Oh my God. I literally don't know what to say. I feel quite tearful because I've been working so hard at this hobby for the last year. I know that doesn't sound long, but I honestly, I've been out every day. I've actually probably done more detecting than working. <laughs> and it's just been my absolute dream to find something Roman. And I've just found four coins in like 12 hours. Well, you guys know how much I love to find a ring thing. This is the smallest one I've ever found. It's tiny. It's as tiny as my little fingertip. I don't know what it is, but it looks very old and beautiful. My Deus II has found it, the tiniest target. Tiny, tiny, tiny it is. I can't wait to clean it up and have a good look at it. Oh my good God, guys. I think I've just found a hammered and I think it's my dream find of a cut half. It is. It's a cut half. <sighs> Oh my god. I wish my eyes worked better. But I am so thrilled with that. A cut half. What? Oh my god. A cut half. Do you know what this this is Christmas day for me, you guys? I do you believe there's a coin? Literally just sitting here on the surface. It's tiny. I think that might be coin number five. If you don't count the cut half. <laughs> oh my god. I've lost count now, but I think this might be Number six. Yeah. That's a coin. I'm being a bit spoiled now and I should leave some for everyone else. There's something in this hole. It's green. like I'll say a coffee bean but I think I think it looks like <laughs> uh, possibly it's a mount of some kind isn't it green colour. God, that is something else, isn't it? For 2,000 years. Goodness me. That's 
it's a very special thing. I'm very, 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 very excited about that. This is a kind of, I don't know if it's a fragment of a nail or it's made of a very nice material. I'll find out what that is. Just arrived back at the wilderness cabin and I've got a pocket full of stuff. I can feel it all. I've I've zipped some into my leggings, I've zipped some into something else. I'm trying to keep it all separate so I remember which coin goes with which, what three words location. I hope I can remember. I've got my photographs I've taken as well, my videos. So um, I, I, I could not have had a better first year at detecting, but also last day of the first year of detecting. You know, it's been an absolute blast. I've, it's the kind of dream day that I, I, I sort of felt as I was driving home, I was thinking how the other half live because I know there are areas in Britain where this happens, but um, but certainly does not happen where I come from. So for me, it's been a huge treat and um, I couldn't have asked for a better Christmas present, basically. I'm, I'm thrilled. <laughs>